Oh my god, new graphics cards are coming soon. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. Well, it looks like AMD's not finished releasing graphics cards just yet, as according to the leaker Graymon55 over on Twitter, apparently AMD's going to be releasing just a whole ton of graphics cards in 2022, and this is before RDNA 3 even launches, and we're looking at some pretty exciting stuff here, guys. It looks like whether you're someone who's just looking to get into PC gaming, or you're looking for an upgrade, there's going to be a bunch of different options for you, and you might be surprised by some of the stuff we're going to talk about. So the first thing I want to talk about real quick here is the RX 6500. Uh, but before we talk about it in depth, let's go ahead and see what Graymon55 had to say about all these different video cards that are going to be releasing in 2022. So according to him, he says, quote, there will be RX 6500 in May. I think the specifications will be similar to RX 6400 OEM. RX 6X 50 XT is probably June slash July. Then below that, he went ahead and said RX 6500 is around $130. So before we get into the whole uh, 50 XT refresh of the RX 6000 series, which is looking to be actually some pretty exciting stuff even if you're someone who's not into amd cards i think it's honestly really worth sticking around and talking about this one and what it could mean for the whole gpu market as i think there's some things around the whole refresh uh, that possibly you haven't heard talked about before that i'm going to get into but real quickly before we get into that let's go ahead and talk about the 6500 xt and the 6500 because i've got kind of a rant when it comes to these cards especially the rx 6500 xt because in case you don't know yes it was released at 200 us dollars it seemed way too expensive in my opinion but honestly uh, all GPUs are too expensive right now. The thing that really got me really angry about the RX 6500 XT is that it's named the 6500 XT, yet it loses to the 5500 XT and is lacking features. And it's just an absolute slap in the face to gamers. And honestly, this is the most insulting card I've seen released by any company easily probably in the last decade, maybe with an exception of the, uh, I believe it was the GT 1030 DDR4 version, which they tried to sneak in there and uh, just called the GT 1030. I believe that was the case. So yeah, th there hasn't been really any other cards that have been as insulting as the RX 6500 XT, but for whatever reason online, there's been a bunch of people defending the 6500 XT because in all fairness, yes, it's probably the cheapest graphics card you can get your hands on right now. And in fact, you can't even get it for 200 US dollars. It's typically around 270 or 280 US dollars. But yeah, there's been people defending it online and saying things like, well, AMD couldn't have made it for any cheaper. And to me, that is absolutely ludicrous. Chris, and I think the RX 6500 at $130 does kind of lend some credence to that. Now, to be fair, the 6500 could just be some sort of salvage die that they have to sell, and they could make basically money off of it no matter what they sell it for because it's better than nothing, and that is a fair point. However, in my opinion, I do think they're probably making money off of the 6500 at $130. I'm pretty sure it would actually cost them less than $130 to make this card, meaning that by the time they sell the parts of the AIBs, you're probably making a little bit of money. Maybe not a lot of money, but a little bit of money. And in my opinion, the 6500 XT could have easily been sold for $150 and AMD still could have made money. Now, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe things are so expensive that they just couldn't possibly sell it for less than $200. And they just love gamers so much that they had to strip out basically every single feature that makes a GPU a GPU, such as all the encoding features that you would expect out of it and cutting the lanes down to X4. But guys, in my opinion, the 6500 XT is AMD's ultimate cash grab and their lowest moment as a company. So hopefully the RX 6500 can remedy this a little bit because honestly with the name 6500 and coming in at $130, I think this one is going to be a lot more palatable and I have a lot less issues with it, especially considering it's likely going to be a 75 watt card, meaning that you can throw it into basically any other system. I think this one's not going to be nearly as bad as the 6500 XT, but what I'd like AMD to do, and I know it might not even be a reasonable ask at this point, is I'd like them to re rename the 6500 XT to either the 6500 or the 6400 XT and then name the 6500 to the either 6400 XT or the 6400 itself because honestly naming the 6500 XT what it is and then having it actually be slower than the 5500 XT is ridiculous it's embarrassing it's honestly I think it's taking advantage of the desperate which makes it extra bad and on top of everything else it, it, it's borderline false advertising like I'm sure maybe you 
couldn't sue him for it, but like, you, come on guys, you're really gonna come out with a graphics card that's named a higher number, but actually not any faster? To me, that's really, really shady. But enough talking about the RX 6500 XT. I think we've talked about it and bashed it enough in the past, and so has everybody else. Let's go ahead and talk about the RX 6000 series refresh, which is apparently gonna be coming in June or July of 2022. And that means we're talking about five to six months from now, you should be able to get your hands or maybe at least get a chance to get your hands on an RX 6000 refresh GPU. And honestly, by that time, I wouldn't be too surprised if GPUs are far more reasonably priced as well and easier to get your hands on. And by the way, if you're wondering, the 6500 is about four months away. So yeah, there you go. This stuff is coming up pretty soon here, but this, let's go ahead and talk about the refresh now. In, in any case, uh, so if we take a look at all the specs that we know about the refresh GPUs that have been leaked online by many various different people, we know that this is basically just going to be the RX 6000 series. However, it's going to be on TSMC's six nanometer node, which I think is very important. And we're going to talk about that in just a second. And it's also going to be equipped with 18 gigabits per second memory. So now talking about the TSMC six nanometer, uh, yes, it is going to get a slight increase from that increased GDDR6 memory that will help it in some situations. But the TSMC six nanometer node is going to allow them to push the clocks even further, at least I believe, especially if you take a look at the 6500 XT, which is their first card on the six nanometer note and I'll also say this and this is the big deal about six nanometer and why I think this refresh is actually important because if it wasn't on TSMC six nanometer I wouldn't care about this refresh whatsoever I'd be like Psh, who cares but because it's on six nanometer this is big news for gamers because it's going to allow AMD to diversify their product stack right now they're selling all their CPUs their consoles and their GPUs all on TSMC seven nanometer and it's causing a huge bottleneck for the company now TSMC six nanometer is different and it should allow them to push out more products depending on how much TSMC has available after Intel gets their hands into six nanometers. So we'll have to wait and see there. But in theory, yes, this should allow AMD to produce more GPUs and get more GPUs into the hands of gamers, which is great news. And on top of that, like I mentioned with the extra memory speed, as well as the extra core clock out of this new node, you'll also probably be looking at about probably like a 10% increase over the current cards. And I think this is also important for AMD because in theory, this should should allow AMD to just hands down beat something like the RTX 3090 if you compare it to the 6950 XT uh, and then on top of that the 6950 XT might even be able to hands down beat the RTX 3090 Ti and although we're talking about you know one or two percent margins here at this point it's actually very important and here's why AMD has not been able to take the performance crown hands down from Nvidia for a very long time and this has caused a big issue for them and it causes a lot of people to not buy into AMD of course, AMD does have some other things uh, that they need to work on, such as, you know, not having maybe as strong as driver support when it comes to professional applications when compared to NVIDIA, not having DLSS, stuff like that is always going to draw people to NVIDIA. But if AMD can take the performance crown, this is going to go a long ways into making people take AMD more seriously in the Radeon GPU market. And now all they have to do, if they do actually go ahead and beat NVIDIA, is get enough supply out there and start actually competing in terms of price and then finally we can start to take Radeon a little bit more seriously and more people are going to go ahead and choose them as an option because guys trust me even though I do rag on cards like the RX 6500 XT I don't hate AMD I don't hate Radeon I really want Radeon to succeed and I want them to become a serious force in the GPU market because it's only a good thing for gamers and honestly as it is right now they just haven't been very competitive so I'd love to see them get a lot more competitive take that performance crown and start putting a little bit of a fire under Nvidia's butts so we can go ahead and get some better prices between that as well as Intel entering the market. I think that 2022 is going to be a much better year for gamers. And on top of everything else, I also believe that availability and pricing is likely going to improve in 2022 as well. So yeah, overall 2022 is looking pretty good. Six nanometer refresh. We're talking about Intel. We're talking about new cards out from Nvidia by the end of the year. Tons of super exciting stuff. If you want to be kept up to date, make sure you hit that subscribe button because yeah, 2022 is looking like it's going to be a great year for gamers. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think these new cards coming out from AMD are a big deal or do you think it's a big fat nothing burger? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below and of course I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also if you want to see more click here you won't be disappointed.